Hi, I'm Rosalie from the Dog Spotters and I'm here with Lena Palzani, the director of this festival. Hi, thank you for your time. Well, it's always a pleasure, the best way to start the festival week. In 2014, the Dog Spotters asked you to describe the festival in three words. You said excited, surprise and food for thoughts. Would you still use the words? Absolutely. I think that it is an exciting film festival. I think that we always manage to surprise the audience one way or the other and definitely when they see the films and when they leave the festival they have something to think about. What do you think was the biggest success in Doc Leipzig in the past five years? We have done a lot. Um, my One of my goals and one of the goals for the whole team was to make um, the festival even more known internationally, make it more visible internationally. And I think that this is something that we have reached. We have more films being submitted to us all over the world. We have more people coming, international professionals coming. Um, so in many ways that has been really, really a great um, progress to see. Uh, more journalists, international journalists writing about us. At the same time, I find it really, really interesting and, and wonderful that we have also managed to get more people from the city to come and see films. And I think that we have managed to create activities that are, like I said, a little bit surprising and have brought them to, to the festival. What have been your three personal highlights? My all-time favorite is the screenings, free screenings at the Hauptbahnhof, the main railway station, where everybody can go and watch films every, every night, or one film every night. Uh, that really is a beautiful event that um, I appreciate and I, I love. And, and it's been wonderful to see how well people have um, welcomed this kind of activity. Uh, Doc Neuland was um, a very interesting project as well. We started screening interactive works, virtual reality here as a little playground for people to come and, and visit and that has also brought more people to, to the festival which has been really really good and has developed in five years it has really developed uh, a great deal. It's also now interesting for our international guests to come and come and see. And personally I'm also really happy that we managed to talk about diversity and make sure that no matter where you come from and or whether you are a man or a woman you have equal possibilities of screening your films and being selected and that has been really really um, satisfactory to see how that has uh, developed and how many other film, film festivals are now also uh, taking care of that the balance between female and, and male filmmakers are okay. What did you learn in the f last five years that you can take to your new job? When you are networking in Germany, quite often it starts with the personal contact. Instead of like, I come from, from the Nordic countries, I've been working in Finland and Denmark, it's quite easy just to call somebody or send an email and, and things get going on from there. And in the beginning I thought that, wow, this is a bit more hierarchic and maybe a little bit, bit more formal. Mm -hmm. But I like it. I like the fact that we first meet and then we start talking and then we see where it where it goes and and that is something that I think that you know I will kind of embrace meeting people face to face more also in Italy. What are three things you will miss about Leipzig? Um, in five years I have met many people who actually have uh, nothing to do with film bus business. I, I got to know them at the, at the horse table or they were my neighbors and that was something that was wonderful to learn Leipzig through these people who, who were not my colleagues or my, my business partners and how welcoming they were. So there are a lot of people, many people who became friends and I will definitely miss them. One thing that I will miss is a Wiener schnitzel that one of these friend chefs is making. I don't think that I will ever get that good Wiener schnitzel anywhere else. And the public transportation in Leipzig is super. What are you looking forward to the most this year's festival? 
I'm really, really glad of the numbers that we have, for example, guests, accredited guests. I think that this year will be a record-breaking uh, number of people coming all over. Many of them are long-term colleagues and partners, so it will be great to see. What is really touching for me is always this dialogue between the audience and the filmmakers. And in Leipzig there is a very loyal and dedicated and passionate audience and it's a it's a great moment to see how they engage with the with the films and filmmakers and how the the discussions and debates are going on and on and on that is always the moment that i really really cherish how does your ideal day on the at the festival look like my ideal day would be me just watching films but unfortunately that's not possible so usually it means from morning to late evening opening a lot of events opening our um, programming events or or industry events uh, meeting delegations giving interviews these sort of things I always plan to go and see films but it never happens the the program is too packed luckily I get to see a lot of these films beforehand, so I can't really complain. Which three films can you recommend to us young viewers? Well, one thing is Noodle Kit, a Chinese film of a teenage boy who has to really travel and work hard and make noodles to earn money for, for his family, his father mainly. I could also recommend Robolov. It's an Austrian film about um, artificial humans. In this film we meet people who are building robots, building artificial humans who look like humans, who talk like humans and who knows, maybe one day even think like humans. And the third one would be My Selfie, a German film of a young girl who lost her hair and had to sort of build the whole idea of her herself and her identity when all of a sudden losing something that all her friends still had. One last question. We know you have a horse. Yes. What will happen with it? Well, the horse is very happily moving to Italy with me. And actually now there are two horses because uh, the horse is moving into the farm that we have bought and horse can't be alone so she will have a friend uh, so there will be a old police horse from Budapest who has done his duties at the police department and who is now retiring moving together with us to Italy. They will have a donkey in the neighbor called Alfredo and hopefully some dogs and cats and little pigs in the farm as well. I think she will be happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And we wish you all the best for your future. Thank you very much.